47. Diana here. Brilliant. Our client is most satisfied, but is still in a hurry to stop the last two generals before they get close to the truth. We've received information that one of the generals, General Mikhail Badachenko, is interrogating people in the basement of the military facilities just off Nevsky Prospect. The video was recorded by a security cam almost two days ago, so we have to hurry. Somewhere in the multi-level maze of corridors, you will find your target. Make sure the prisoner being interrogated escapes unscathed. Your equipment is in the supply yard near a crate marked FCK, just behind the main entrance. Security is beefed up because of rumors of an impending assassination attempt on the general. So, once you've completed your mission, there's only one way out. Blast your way through a wall out into the sewers and return to the subway. We've located the only place where the walls are thin enough. It's marked on your map. Keep it clean, 47. Okay, Hitman, Silent Assassin, and we're doing the mission Tubeway Torpedo, which I can compare to greatly the Li Hong assassination from Codename 47 in its uh, complex complexity and its length, difficulty, and when you first play this mission, um, you're going to be probably stuck here, and uh, this, is, this mission took me a while to beat the very first time. But um, since this is not my very first time, uh, the tra traditional thing is to subdue this guard, drag him up, uh, get to the equipment that our briefing told us to get to, the FCK box, or the fuck box, and grab the equipment, go down into the basement, kill the military, General Bartachenko, save the agent, and escape in the sewer tunnel. But, what we're gonna do, to shake it up, just like anathema, is that we're going to not subdue anybody this entire mission. Instead, we are going to do this first part, suit only, and like I said, we're also not going to subdue anybody. And this is going to be very risky, and I think I'm only going to give it one try. If I fail, we're just going to go ahead and uh, do it the normal way, because this way is a little bit ri uh, ridiculous in terms of uh, timing and all that, so... Whew. Okay, so we got a phone guy here, we got one patroller there, two people behind the truck, and this guy right here. So, uh, if we're seen for a split second, there's no detection raising, there's no, like, little meter that fills up and you get detected like current games, which, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, this is, as soon as they make eye contact with you, you're spotted. It's really, really hard. So, uh, we're gonna have to concentrate and hopefully I can do you guys right. So here we go, quick slip here. <gasps> okay, good enough. Good, good, good. And remember, running is not smart. If you, if I ran right here, that guard would turn around because it's realistic. They can hear your stomping footsteps when you're um, trudging along. So here's our uh, our little agency box. We got a mini bomb, a pager, and a phone. Now, like I said, you're not really sure what the hell we're doing here. Like, what exactly are we getting? What are we grabbing? What, why we need a phone? Why do we need a pager? There's no there's no briefing about that. So it's, it's a little it's a little tough. And sure enough, good timing. We're protected by the, uh, being spotted by these guards. Still gotta be very, very, very careful, though. Okay, I think we're safe right here. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> that guy right there. They can see you through the cracks really easily. Okay, we're in a comfortable spot. We need to get to that truck and sneak on board. There's no other way we're gonna get to this base without that truck. And, to get to that truck, we need to, um... Wait for the perfect timing. That phone needs the ring, and uh, he needs to answer it and then walk back around so I know I have plenty of time. This guard has to be over there so he's not blocking my view, and this guard is just tricky all around. So the timing might be uh, against us. We'll just have to see. Because the timing actually is random slightly in each patrol, which is absolutely ludicrous to, to even think of. But sure enough, uh, that is how it works. So like I said, if I get caught, um, well done, but hopefully that's that's not what happens, so. Let's, uh, I guess this is gonna be, uh, we're not gonna get any better chance than this, so here we go, saving it. 
Yep, we're using a save just for this. Okay, man. Concentration till we get to the truck. <laughs> and look at that guard right there. He just starts to peer around the corner, and luckily they, they can see you in this truck. But uh, luckily I was just hidden enough that they, they didn't. Holy crap. And yeah, so we're aboard this truck, as you can see. Kind of funny in the map. It's a little humorous uh, going backwards. And the, we're going to go into the extra next courtyard here, and we're going to try to get into the military headquarters. No promises for that. But we're going to duck and turn this way. And because uh, this is the most uh, stealthy you can be. If you're not facing the guard in these trucks, I found that you have a little better chance of not to get detected. Because we're going to wait for some patrols to go around this truck. And if it's almost random that they might he might detect me and literally like go underneath the truck and try to shoot me. Yeah, I never said this game was perfect in terms of bugs, but if you understand the game and you know its quirks, um, you can work with it and, and play with it. So, um, like I said, this is going to be a good example of how we use the map. And I think on Professional, the guards are not shown on the map. Which is ridiculous. It makes sense because the agency is giving us satellite coordinates with our little PDA device. So um, I'm not taking it for granted, but it, it's definitely a strate you know, strategic to be able to use this. And I really like the way that the Hitman maps work. I don't know why they got rid of that map solution. They want a different route, I guess. Okay, be quiet. Don't move. Here you go. This is some tricky timing. We need to get out of this bus and not be seen by a single guard in here and make it into the uh, facility. Um, now, what's interesting though about this is that you cannot do this suit only. Um, if you can, there might be a way to, to uh, exploit bugs or something, but um, I don't think it's possible. As you can see, see how these are they're cracked? I'm actually pointing at the screen. <laughs> you see how there's cracks right here in these in these boxes? If you're in exposed by these cracks, when they're passing by, these guards can easily see through the peripherals. Like, that's the biggest change compared to C-47 in this, is, is the peripheral vision is, is actually almost... Well, dare I say it, it's kind of realistic, sort of? Like, your peripheral vision is pretty strong. You can notice if someone's hovering to the side of you, you know? So you got to really account for peripheral vision. In this game, at 2002, it's pretty intense. The stuff is ludicrous. And, um... Like I said, I could pull an AK out and trudge along through and just shoot everybody in the head and go through. But isn't this like, I don't know, this is more entertaining to me and this is more thrilling. So this is the way we're going to do it, damn it. But uh, we still need to be extra careful. We're not safe yet. But as I was saying, um, when you get down into the military basement, there are security cameras. And if you're in a suit walking around, you're instantly going to be alerted by the guards and you're done. So we do need to get a uniform here soon. But I did say we're not going to subdue anybody, right? Correct. So, it's time to, uh, another clutch moment. We need to be able to make it to a, a long stretch of uh, ground and not be seen. This guy's going up now, and this guy is... As soon as he passes back through this truck... See, if we didn't ride this truck, we wouldn't have this truck as cover. And I don't know how we could do this. Alright, we're free. Oh, we're almost close. We're almost home free. And, uh, the hardest part of this mission, in my opinion, is done. And like I said, this is... I could have just do that very first guard and just walk, just went into the truck in, in plain sight and just walked up here in plain sight. But like I said, this is more entertaining. And this is just something I just found out. I like tried this level before I recorded. And I'm like, is there anything else I can do here? Is it possible? And uh, my first thing I, I did was just subdue the guard that I, that I said is the subduable one and not take his clothes. And that was challenging enough. But then I'm like, do I have to even subdue this guy? And that made it... One extra guard patrol made it three times more difficult, and I loved the challenge. Okay, that guy's going up the stairs. Perfect timing. Okay. We're very close to home free. We just got to be a little more careful, and that guard will come back in through that door, so we need to get to where we need to get to very quick and very soon. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, go. Don't let him turn around, and don't run. Because he'll turn around. He'll, they, have a lot, they have a big radius when it comes to turning around. And we made it. Home free. We got a suit, a free suit at that. And I like how IO Interactive uh, put that there because that suit right there is for people that have done it without, with just the suit. Because it's this is just a plain guard uniform that I could have got at the beginning once again. And with that, 
we are done with the first portion of uh, Tube Way Torpedo in a very intense about, what, eight minutes, I say? I don't know. And as the music kicks up, we know we're in a, um, a more intense part of the mission. As you can see, this authorized sign, the stars and the um, chevron upside down or the downward chevrons, uh, that indicates general and soldier. And, uh, well, we're a soldier. And another thing about Silent Assassin is that even if we're on this, uh... Oh, watch it, buddy. Even if we're on this difficulty, you get bonus saves for the more complex missions. And sure enough, we just got a bonus save. So it would probably be very, very silly of me to not save right now. Yeah, there's, there's no reason not to. And, uh... As you can see in here, we, um are now in the bunker military facility and it is as you see these cameras if you pass by the first one in your suit you're done alerted the security uh, team would instantly um, wreck your day and uh, as you can see uh, <laughs> we don't want to go in there plenty of guards and um, plenty of things to go wrong in here so we don't want to be seen by any of these guards. If one sees us, they will be suspicious and start walking towards us. And if they get too close to us, um, the mission is, is basically over. So It's nice, though, to be not have to worry about guards waking up or, or any of that nonsense. Because the one thing I don't like is that if you do subdue that guard, there's no way to beat this mission, no matter how fast you do it, um, without them him waking back up. And then it says, guard is looking for suspicious soldier. Now, it doesn't matter once you get in here, but I don't want that alert. If I can help it, I don't want that alert, so. Uh, one trick is you can drag that guard that you subdue in the beginning down the sewer hole, and even though he gets up and it says the guards are alerted, he can't alert anybody physically, So because he, he can't climb up sewer the ladders, so that's kind of funny. So we've got a general right there, and uh, the server room right there, which as you can see, general only which is right there, and we could subdue him. But like I said, that would cause me to have five minutes game time, which is very short, um, to try to go through the rest of the mission. And it's very risky, and I don't want to hurry through the mission. You know, I, I like that I'm actually able to take my time, as you have, have may have realized that uh, Silent Assassin makes you hurry a lot more, and there's no way to just casually walk through missions sometimes. And this is one of those uh, times that we can kind of just get a feel for the land so that server room um, very poor security has a back door and even though the security cameras facing right there they don't seem to care and uh, we sneak right in and now we are in the server room and we can disable every security camera which we're going to need to do which is going to very help for us by shooting that green panel there so uh, we're going to make first use of the pistol in the entire game here And a nice one at that. Now, like I said, oh, that's a shot's fired. Now you can't get all zeros. Well, the alternative is to do uh, guards are now looking for a suspicious soldier and like put him underneath a manhole so he so you exploit the guards' AI and ability to uh, climb up manholes. You know, it's just like uh, I don't mind getting shots fired. And in, in the name of a let's play, uh, if I don't do that, like I said, I have to hurry. And so the, the whole all zero thing does not matter to me. That's almost like exploiting glitches and especially in us uh, silent assassins case so so now the reason we really did disable the security cameras is this camera pointing right by this general's door general only but we can pick this lock now if we would have picked that lock as you can see this camera right here we would immediately be alerted by guards but now that the cameras are down we have safe entry to pick this lock come in and would you look at that? Another free disguise, and it's the general's costume. So we now have the highest authority that we can possibly achieve in this level. And uh, the god costume, if you will. Except for in, si in uh, Silent Assassin, there's no god costumes. Oh no, there's no god costumes. Instead, we have uh, just a, uh, we can go anywhere and we don't get in trouble. But if a guard walks into us, we're done. That uh, he's immediately going to be suspicious, and uh, we might as just give up. <laughs> That's just the way of the game. So uh, there is one more patrolling guard here, and like I said, Hitman games, especially Silent Assassin, is the most intricate stealth, in my opinion, of any of the games. Um, 
is uh, requires a lot of play-by-play -play in terms of explaining it. But uh, of course, you want to know what the heck actually is happening here. I mean, like I said, there's not much going on here. We're in a Russian bunker. It's very quiet. What I like is that the sound effects, there's just this very gentle, ambient, like, sound. And uh, it just, um, it kind of is what you would think you would hear if you're in a bunker. <laughs> Maybe like the uh, rever like the vibrations of a, of a truck running by or something across the road. General only. Oh, buddy, calm down. He actually kind of made me a little bit nervous. I don't know what he did there. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, so down here, you can't even be in a uh, soldier uniform. You have to be a general. This is the real reason that we had to do it. And down here, we are in the second basement, and it looks like our target and the CIA agent being interrogated is here. And we got an observation room. Hmm. Might be useful for us. So let's give a listen and see if we can... Uh... So, you have a piece of information I need. Who is the man someone hired to kill me? And where is he? Oh, well, you see, such information is usually classified, and I... Получай, мудак американский! You know who he is. Don't mess with me! Er, uh, of course not, sir. But you see, it's like this. I... I see you want to fight. Well, we have other means then. I was so much hoping to avoid this. But I... it... it... no... ouch! Now... Sit still. If I don't do this right, it will hurt a little bit. And what if you do it right? Then it will hurt a lot. <laughs> I had to keep quiet for that part. That is a nice little comic mischief, little comic relief from uh, IO Interactive. And I appreciate it. So to get to that observation room, it happens to be locked. And to pick that lock, uh, yeah, right in front of this this little station full of guards is going to be some risky uh, maneuvering and uh, so we want to make sure that this guard doesn't uh, blow our cover so when he passes by and takes his little stroll back into the guard room that's when we're going to make our chance but even then the game is a little glitchy where they might notice that you're picking that lock even though they can't physically see you but I think that's more a factor if you run and a lot of times when I tried this mission before um, I would run past them stupidly and even though none of them would follow me they suddenly would know I'm picking the lock so let's test that theory and uh, ugh, hold our breaths as we're passing by that guy with the clipping out of the uh, door there don't run so he's like staring at the door almost but uh, see it's the same time like we're walking slow that's the tension about walking slow okay if I hear someone running I'll stop but I think we're good but Hopefully, like I said, pick lock picking is random how long it takes, and I kind of like that. It makes sense. Good. Get in. Let's hide. Okay. So, we are uh, in the observation room, and sure enough, a one-way mirror, so this guy can't see us. And that happens to look familiar. I think that, uh, yeah, those uh, patriotic boxers and uh, completely that red hair and uh, scarred and tortured... That looks like Agent Smith, and sure enough, he makes a reappearance. That's one of those type of things that uh, IO likes to do. Although he was not in Absolution, which I'm kind of disappointed he wasn't. Maybe he was, I don't know. Okay. Remember that pager we got? Time to set up the hit. Drop that pager. And this is a really, like, asinine way. It's like, it's a, okay, this is a little silly, but hey, it works. This is, what they, this is what they expect you to do, I guess. And you call that pager makes any general go nuts. Let's be quiet as we prepare for one big hit here. Here we go. Oh boy. I want to give another save. Oh. 
Give me back that pager and I'll take your combat knife. Sure, why not? It's a, uh, I think a slightly faster or maybe a uh, slightly longer range knife. Or maybe just do more damage if you're doing a hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is what you should never do in this game. So you can use your silenced uh, pistol and shoot through the glass and shoot him in the head and, and you jump through the window. And while that's cool Rambo-wise, uh, we don't want to do that, so uh, I think that's the best way to do it. I'll tell you what, um, i rather fiber wire my target. I think that is the coolest thing about Hitman. It's like not, not in any other like stealth game ever. You can use a fiber wire to uh, choke your victim, go to, to kissing, kissing distance of a high-value target and kill him instantly, silently. 47? Is, is that really you? I can't believe it's really you. Likewise. Thought I'd seen the last of you back in Romania. You were pretty messed up back then. Yeah, I know. I owe you big time. Let me know if I can help you with anything. You name it. Start by putting your pants on. Okay, okay. Hey, I know how we can get out of here really fast. I stole a keycard from a drunk guard. Pretty clever, huh? Not bad. I could use this. I got what? 47 is like, I can use this, and under his breath, like, see, to him, he's all utility, like, he's, his mission is to, is to save him, so that's the only reason he's saving him, like, and Agent Smith always thinks that, uh, 47's his friend, and I don't think, uh, 47 has the same, uh, I don't think he's, I don't think they share mutual, uh, ideas there. So basically, you think that we're like, oh crap, we're in trouble, aren't we? But we're not. See, that guard knows that we're in trouble, and the guard and the assassin, and the assassin died, but uh, or the general died, and he's like, warning, alert, alert, and all the alert is the red light, and he's like, is that a false alarm? So he's gonna expect to see who comes out the elevator, and it's the Russian general and a and uh Bartachanko, uh, just with red hair now, and and. Not a Russian. So, no suspicion at all, so no problem. <laughs> it's like, it's a little silly, but that's that's why you're safe. That's why, it's a very confusing part there. And uh, this is about the time that I, my cover would be blown if I uh, did not, if I uh, subdued a general and got his disguise as opposed to fighting my free one. So no one cares about him. They only care about Hitman, luckily, so it's got to, Stuck by one more patrolling guard, and we are, for the most part, home free. We've got one more mission to do, and that is to blow up this weakened wall and escape through the sewer tunnel. We do that, and uh, we're ready to leave. We're not done with Russia yet. We're almost done with Russia, don't worry. But, uh, oh, you might like Russia, I don't know. And there are enough. That's definitely a weakened wall, I must say. So let's get that mini bomb that we got from. Uh, Jesus, freaking controls. <laughs> Actually, the controls are, controls are pretty solid, to be honest. Let's get that mini bomb. Back away, yes. Get out of the way. And, uh, get the bomber mode out. Save the shit out of this. Our last save. We got another bonus save, by the way. Go! And you want to run as fast as you can to this exit because guards are going to be storming into this sewer tunnel. However, and this always tripped me up too. If you're running, they'll shoot at you, but as soon as you see them pop around the corner, stop. And only run if you know there's none coming around the corner, like that. Yeah. Because if you uh, run too close there, they'll know it's you. But if you don't run at all, they'll catch up to you, and as disguises work, they'll run into you. Um, it's funny, it's, it's kind of really explaining the dynamic between Agent Smith and Agent 47 where he can't figure out the difference of push and pull, um, it's, it's, he's useless, but at the same time, Agent 47 does have use of him, and that's just kind of a funny thing. His life is validated in that aspect. So hopefully my overall didn't, like, freak out. Yeah, okay, because overall gets glitchy sometimes. 
if you like play another level just to test it out, it might save that one. It's weird. But nope, looks like overall right. Three shots fired. Very nice. Ten saves. I call it counter saves too, but I usually take as much saves as I can. And it says your overall time too, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that's um, one shot fired and the rest are all zero. Silent Assassin. There we go. We got one more mission to Russia and it's a, it's a fun one. No more uh, military insertion. We're gonna, we're gonna attend a party.